Hello everybody, Joe Marquez here once again from the Sons of Technology to share with you this little add-on that I found within Google Slides that allows you to slip a new slide into an already distributed slide deck um, that you gave your students through Google Classroom. Now let me give you an example of why you would do this. Let's say that you have like a Unit 3 resource guide or a Unit 3 study school guide that you pushed out through your students as an assignment through Google Classroom and you made a copy of your template to all the students. And then as you're going through this, you realize, oh no, I forgot to add this particular slide or I forgot to add these resource slides. You don't wanna tell them to delete it and then put another one in. You don't wanna show them your slide deck and hope they make a copy and then put it in. You wanna be able to slip this in. And we're gonna be doing this with an add-on called Slip and Slide. Slip and Slide is going to let us take what we have already handed out students in Google Classroom and then slip in a new slide or a sequence of slides either at the beginning or the end of the resources you've already handed out. And so slip and slide would be added right up here. You would go right up here to the option where it says add-ons. You would then go and say get add-on and then you're going to type in slip and slide. Slip and slide is right here, and you would go ahead and install that app right into your Google Slide. And you only have to do this once, and then it will be added to all of your slide decks. So now Slip and Slide will be available. Now, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this Unit 3 packet to my students. So I'm going to click Assignment, and I'm going to title this Unit Number 3 Packet. And I'd explain to them, this is where all the resources you would be given for this unit, blah, 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 blah. And then I would then attach that unit three packet in Google Classroom to my students. And so I'm going to select make a copy for each student. And then I'm going to make sure I put it underneath my correct topic, the week of April 20th to 24th. And then I'm going to click assign. Now, once it's assigned, I'm going to go ahead and jump into my student account. And I'll notice right down here that in my student account, I have the brand new file that I just pushed out to them for the week of April 20th, and it's called Unit 3 Packet. And so my students are going to then open up their copy of the packet. And just to show you that it's not linked and we're not just sharing it with the students, I'm going to go ahead and add some little negatives there, so little dashes, and I'll show you in my original copy, those dashes do not appear. So it is a copy for my students. Now, let's say that I'm like, oh, I forgot to add some documents that my students are really going to need, some extra resources. I'm going to go to the slide that I want to add. It could be like you added it to your master copy and then you want to push it out to them, or it could be in a brand new slide deck. So let's say I want to send them this slide snap right in their unit guide. I'm going to click on the slide that I want. I'm going to go to add-ons, hover over slip and slide, and I'm going to choose the folder that was created for this particular assignment. So it should say unit three right here, unit three packet. That's what I did. And that's what I sent. And then the slip and slide is going to work to attach those documents right there. So now, now that it's said that I'm going to be sending this to unit three, I'm going to select send to unit three. It's going to pop up and say, okay, I see that you want to add a new slide to this document. What do you want to slide? Well, I'm going to send the current document. I could start with slide one and go all the way to the last, but I'm just going to send one single slide. So I'm going to start with the current slide and it asks, do you want to do all the remaining slides from that slide or do you want to do just this one slide? I just want to send this one. And then I'm going to start. And then Slip and Slide does its magic, and it's actually slipping in this one slide into every single one of my students' Unit 3 packets. So notice I select Start for adding it to prior to the first slide. I could have selected the end, and it could have added to the last of the slide. And whoop, there, we know it's done. So if I go into my Unit 3 packet, I said I wanted to put it at the start, and there it is. There's the slide that I added to that student, and then they can move it anywhere that they want. But the key to this is we pushed it to an already created uh, slide deck that we gave to our students. And once again, to prove that it is a student, I'm gonna go, I can go ahead and go to another fake student right here, log into our Google Classroom here for this student, 
and it didn't just push it out to that one student, it pushed it out to all of our students. Click on that unit three packet and you can see that it also added that slide snap slide right to the beginning. So slip and slide is a great tool. If you have already pushed out a great deck full of resources and documents and great things, and you're like, oh, I forgot to add one more or two more or multiple slides. Now you can easily slip those slides right into the already copied documents. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped solve some kind of problem that you have had in the past or creates brand new ideas for new things in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.